So you probably noticed if you watch my Facebook page how much I love hummingbirds. You know, I always say who doesn't, I just think they're amazing. I don't think you could ever have too many birds or hummingbirds or butterflies or flowers in a garden. So I love this ring. It looks like a beautiful jewel-covered hummingbird done in black rhodium. There's so much hand labor in this. It's all done with CZs, but the interesting thing about this is that it looks more like champagne diamonds, which I love. It's not too white on the stones. It looks more like champagne diamonds all through the body of the hummingbird. And then you have black rhodium on the body, black rhodium on the branches, 18 karat gold over sterling silver uh, on the band, and of course on the flower and on the beak. So it's all done over sterling silver, but the combination of the black rhodium and the 18 karat is stunning with the stones. So I would highly recommend wearing this on, so here it is on a middle finger. Wait, I think I'd like it better on the left hand. There you go. There it is on a ring finger. Love it. I think it's gonna be fabulous on a middle finger. It's just made, it almost looks like a two finger ring, but it's only one. Um, but if you love butterflies and hummingbirds and all those kinds of things, if you love things that are very dimensional, if you love things in the garden, if you love anything that is just very cool and different when it comes to jewelry, you are absolutely gonna love this ring. I love the fact that you are not going to see this coming and going. It is handmade in a beautiful little workshop in India by artisans who take great pride in their work. And it's not something you're gonna see in big stores or even regular jewelry stores or catalogs or anything else. It's that little piece of exotic and different and beautiful that all your friends are gonna go, oh my gosh, that's the coolest thing. Is that a hummingbird? Why, yes it is. Thank you so much. So that's the hummingbird on a little gold flower. Gorgeous.